Coming down the green, watch the fireworks on the track, watch the fireworks in the sky. Tommy Ellis has the green flag waving, and here we go. Green flag waves and the start of the race, the start of the World Championship 3 hour figure eight endurance race as fireworks light the sky and the cars light the track. C4 Calvin Crane is snuck out early on, a miscommunication there by the folks on track. Gay gets an early start for Calvin Crane. He's going to go lap down, but this is going to be a great jump for him. Trying to stay on the lead lap now. This could be an interesting one. He makes it through, and Calvin Crane is going to stay on the lead lap already or stopping hearts here at the speed drum again and it's nick moore checking up as dennis wisman makes his way out of the racetrack at the north end of the racetrack turn three and four of the figure eight if he can get him a red flag a yellow flag crane is going to just survive it is crane is going to survive it and stay on the lead lap this could become important later the bow of 11 smith is, as they're still a tight tight pack one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 cars deep for the lead pack as we add uh, Eddie, Artie Ware's number 38 make his way back out. Missed him leaving the track. He's back out on the track. This is still early in the event, though. Starting to toss out some alternates. Getting mixed up. Crossover action. Tiptoe action. I don't believe it. Buddy Vertry is the 41. I tell you what, he's not weighing as much now as he did at the start of this race. He lost about five pounds there on that one. Holy cow, there we go once again, splitting the difference. And what difference does it make? They all make it through. No, they're going to tiptoe now. Pat Pierce has to scramble, take a half lap. 91 of Sizemore makes it through. And Larson makes the 93 on through. And I tell you what, I lost track of all that fun stuff. But I'll back up to your leader. Still going to be the 3T of Mark Tunney. Check it through the crossover, through the crossover, through the crossover. Again, they make it. They got lap cars up in front. Heavy traffic, crossover action. Zach Carson makes it through at the last minute in the 83 machine. Running out of lead lap cars already, down to about only 18 cars left on the lead lap. A blistering pace. Ben Tunney back up in front in the five now. 33 machine. And Zach Larson again defies all odds, makes through unscathed. I cannot believe it. I think he's dodged more bullets than we've ever seen Chuck Norris avoid. As we have got Zach Larson out there. Oh, Broadways as the big machine Eric Warren goes sideways across the field. Chris Harmon, your leader now in the six machine. Chris Harmon has taken the point in the 6H machine ahead of Ben Tunney's number five. After that, Jesse Tunney's number one and the field is starting to stretch out because he's just about earned every blessing from every saint there ever was. Through the crossover again, Pat Pierce clips off the front of the 10 machine of Jeff Armour. And eventually, I know luck was going to run out. He's got the back bumper now trailing. Look for the black flag on the 59 of Pat Pierce. And he's got back pipes trailing out there. He ripped, almost ripped off the back bumper. One of the prettiest cars we got on the track is now checked up. There it comes oh, the splatter that didn't matter. It almost happened, but it did not. I thought for sure we we're going to lose somebody on that pass. Doug Gregg again checked up. We got the C4 of Calvin Crane. Looped and hooked bumpers. Somebody get a bucket and pour water on them. Jeff Harmon, but we've got the 87 of Matt Smith dead on the track. Look for the pace car to come out. Smith, it is an endurance race. It's an enduro, and that's it. We're going to have to go yellow. Matt Smith stalls it on the tra track. Jesse Tunney, your leader in the number one. Some all there to check up a little bit. Chris Harmon continue to hang tough there. Oh, tiptoe through the tulips as Dennis Wisman's number one has to dare things at the crossover. The one to Jesse Tunney back up in front. Second place goes to the six of Chris Harmon. Third place to seven of Austin Tunney. Fourth place to five of Ben Tunney. Then you're going to have the three T of Mark Tunney. A couple of lap cars getting intermixed there with the leaders, but it's a long way to go. Ben Tunney tangles with Wisman's number one. Cuts inside the marker, comes to a stall. Going to try and keep it running. Now he's going to try to get on the track, get his own red flag. Can he get it? No, he cannot. We've got Austin Tunney's number seven dead at the crossover. Green flag stays lit. Here they come piling on. And that's it. We go yellow as everybody piles in on the field. One fellow that's going to come through, stay on the lead lap. I do believe it's going to be Calvin Crane, that C4 machine. Front end number six, Jeff Harmon back in control in the six car, but he's got Mike Hadley, the 2017 champion. Busy, busy crossover. Mark Tunney now trying to make his way up to the front. Haven't seen Mark. Oh, Mark though gets collected up, and they pile up right behind him. Everybody piles up into turn three of the eight. Doug Gregg in damage, and we go back to yellow once again. Cut tire penalty. And now the crossover getting ugly, ugly, busy. The 70 of Sloan is stalled. The 28 of Corbin right behind him. 80 of Murphy tiptoeing through, as is the 16 of Frost. Everybody trying to make it on through the crossover, <laughs> including the 17 to C of Corey Harmon. Busy, don't you know?
Again, the scramble through the X has them all going sideways, sideways, and all wild out there. Chris Harmon in the six, Jesse Tunney in the one. Those cars still on the lead lap. Throw, holy cow! There's the big hit we were waiting for. The 28 of Shackelford, the 12 of White, and we go red, red, red. We can go red, red, red. Leader's still going to be looking for you. My cat's now. Where'd you go? The four machine of Hadley nosing out in front of Mark Tunney's 3T machine. As Harmon's number six holds on to third place over Jesse Tunney's number one. Tight, tight traffic for Hadley and Tunney through the south end. Oh, there's the 21 machine of Arthur checking up, and that's going to block off. He uses a pick, picks off uh, Mike Hadley Jr. It's like Ritz Smith standing right in the lane there, and Hadley had no place to go. Mark Tunney back up in front. At the timing and scoring, keeping our stripe rolling there across the screen. Holy cow! Everybody pile! in on Jeff Smith at the crossover. There's the big Talladega one, and we're going to have to go yellow. Look for a red, red, red even possibly coming out here. There's a story if you need one. Holy cow, there it is. The big one happened again. It's going to be Tim Logue stopping hearts, dropping parts, trying to get it fired back up again, looking for a fire under the hood. As we got the one of Jesse Tunney moving, Tim Logue is left sitting. Jesse Tunney keeps moving. Aims it for another loop-de-loop. Garrigus in trouble in the 77 machine just right now looking for a soft place to land. Through the crossover once again. Mark Tunney, oh no! Chris Harmon gets collected by the Tim machine of Jeff Armour and comes to immediate stop and we're going to go yell to get him out of there. And there it is, Mark Tunney going in the pits. Your leader in the pits, as is the four, Mike Hadley Jr. A yellow flag situation, car stalled on the track, just what the doctor ordered to grab a splash of fuel and a quick drink. Again, Smith with the advantage, under one hour remaining, 243 laps into it. But there goes Hadley around Smith for the lead. Hadley now takes over the lead at the stripe. And you got Hadley in the four, Smith in the 87, and Tunney in the three. One, two, three, Hadley pulling away now. And Mark Tunney's got his hands full trying to get around the 74 of Hargraves. Oh, around goes Larson. At my lap time once again. Mark Tunney, 17389. Mike Hadley, 17094 in traffic. Was watching Mike, Mark Tunney's lap times earlier. 17325 that time for Mark Tunney. 17315 for Mike Hadley. Three of Mark Tunney. Four of Mike Hadley Jr. 87 of Matt Smith. Not making it out. The one of Jesse Tunney left at the gate. Now this could hurt him here. They're going nine laps down. They're going to be they're going to be passed by Corey Harmon here in a little bit. 18, 17 seconds remain. This will be the last lap, folks. This is going to be it. 12 seconds remain. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Wayne's looking for checkers, and that's going to be checkered flat for Mark Tunney. Mike Hadley right on his back bumper for second. Third place is going to go to the rookie, Matt Smith. Fourth place in the 17 of Corey Harmon, followed by the one of Jesse Tunney. Artie Ware in fifth, sixth place in the 38 machine. Tommy St. John, another rookie. Buddy Vertries, Eugene Warden. The big machine comes home ninth and unofficial 10th place to Donnie Garrigus the third. Another top finish for Garrigus. Man, oh man, he can hear you now, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Tunney getting her done out there. Congratulations, coming all around. Matt Smith celebrating. It looks like an unintentional uh, smackdown over there on the backstretch. Smith celebrating with some donuts. Heads up, folks, running on the track. We got cars moving around, and it's hard to see with all that smoke. Down here in Victory Lane. It's been a long weekend, but he's enjoying this final shower.